today we are going to perform using 741 IC is adder circuit so open adder so first of all we have to check the power supply so let's check the power supply here this we have set to 12 volt plus minus 12 volt So this is 12 volt. You can see this is 11.97 volt. Good approximate equal to plus 12 volt. Now the other power, the other power supply. This is minus 12.05. That is minus 12 volt. So we need dual power supply for the optimized adder. So first of all, we have to connect the wires. So this is positive, positive 12 volt. So positive 12 volt will go to uh, this is this here. This is same. So uh, we have to give the power supply. So this is dual power supply. So plus 12 volt will uh, give to the pin number seven. So this is pin number seven. We give it here. Next, the ground. So ground will be giving the common ground point. So this is let's say I have made some common ground point differently. So this 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 point will give the all common ground points. Now this is uh, minus negative volt, negative power supply. So negative power supply will give to the pin number four. So this is pin number four. Now we have to connect the uh, we have to connect the resistors like this. So these are these are these, this is the connection for optimized adder. So we have connected two inputs through which we can supply two signal, and we have to connect the feedback resistor R from pin number two to pin number six. So first of all we will connect. Two resistors, resistor R1 equal to 1 kilo ohm, resistor R2 is also equal to 1 kilo ohm to pin number 2 and pin number 3 we have to ground. So first of all we will connect two resistors. Resistor we have to connect to pin number 2 parallelly. So this is let's see pin number 2. So we have connected this. Pin number 2 here from this one. Now the other one, this is the other one resistor, we will also connect to pin number 2. Right this is at pin number 2 also and we will connect different signal to this so I connected different different point now this is feedback resistor it is also equal to 1 kilo ohm so we will connect from pin number 2 to pin number 6 this is pin number 2 to again pin number 2 to pin number 6 this is pin number 2 pin number 6 this is pin number 6 I have connected now we have to get the supply, so we will give the supply, semi-shuttle supply or AC supply, AC signal basically to uh, the input of the 741 IC through this register R1 and R2. So we will give the input, input signal, uh, input signal signal from the CRO, sorry from the signal generator from channel number 1 to these two pins, these two inputs. So this is uh, input number 1. Resistor. So I will give it from here and I will duplicate it also. I will duplicate it to give to the other pin to the other uh, other resistor R2 also. So I am just taking the input from here and giving to the uh, giving to the uh, resistor number two also. This resistor number two, I have just duplicated the signal. Otherwise, we can take two different signal also. Next, we have to common ground all the all the uh, all the negative terminals. Okay. So this is negative terminal for channel number one, through which we can take the from which we can check the input. So this is the inputs to check the input. So we can connect to the pin number two. So this is for checking the input. can also connect here also because these two, are point, these two points are shorted and uh, from channel number two of the CRO we can check the output so from this channel we can check the output we can check output from channel number two this is channel number two and we can connect it to pin number six so we are connected to pin number six just to checking the output
Now you have to sort all, sort all the ground points of all the CRO props and signal props. This is uh, this we have to sort. This is for signal generator prop. So this one also we have to sort it. So we can sort it over there. And the third one is also we have to sort it. So third one is also third ground is also we have to sort it like this. And we can sort this common. And all we have to sort this commonly to some common point. We have set it here. So we can set it here to this point. This is common ground point. No, we have to sort the uh, pin number three to ground point as shown in the figure. So this is this one material. So we have to we have to ground pin number three. So pin number three we have to ground here. So we can ground at common points. And this is pin number three. This is pin number three. We can ground it at this common point. Now we can check the output. So we have given the input. Input signal is semi-solidal and frequency is. Uh, 5 kilohertz and the peak to peak volt is 5 volt 8 volt peak to peak so we can see we can check the output so this is the output so this is the output lower one is the output and upper one is the input so this is although we have kept the voltage as 2 volt input uh, voltage per division and for the output also this is 2 volt so you can see the output is uh, something double approximate double you can see because the division is uh, division is uh, 1 2 3 4 approximate double division and for the input division is 2 so the output is uh, output is approximate uh, output is approximate double to that of the input uh, now we have we can check also that the input is uh, output is out of phase of the input because the lower peak is coinciding with the upper peak of the output so uh, out, upper peak of the output to that of input so we can see also the output is inverting because we have given the because we have given the input to inverting terminal that is why the output is coming uh, in inverting mode okay, so this is the output and input and output of the summing amplifier so output is output is equal to the sum of the two inputs of the input and in this mode this is in this way this is acting as a operation amplifier as summer circuit so this is the summer circuit thank you